Hi everybody, welcome back for another time-based workout here at All In One Fitness. Now I'm gonna get you going and get you worked out here for about a 20 minute workout. We will work it in cycles like we did on the following workout that I did for you a couple weeks ago. Now getting warmed up, I'm gonna leave that to you. So if you wanna pause the workout here and just do a light workout and get yourself stretched out and ready to go, then let's do that. Remember, exercise does have risk. I want you to make sure that your home or the area that you're working out is safe and your weights are pushed out of the way so that you don't trip and that you inherently know that there are some risks to exercise. So make sure that you've been passed by your doctor or okayed by your doctor to work out. You do so at your own risk. Okay, here we go. So let's just start jogging in place. What we're going to do is, like I said, time-based. We'll be doing 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off. Most of this workout is going to be targeted towards core and heart rate up. That's what I've been hearing from most of you watching the videos. You wanted another one that was kind of packed with heart rate pumping exercises and core. So that's what this one's going to be. All right, so get yourself ready. Dumbbells ready. If you don't have dumbbells, just move your upper body. We're going to go to squat with an overhead press. 30 seconds on. Now I've already taught you good form. Remember, your butt needs to go back as if you're sitting in a chair. You should be able to look down and see your toes. Core nice and tight. Keep pressing about seven more seconds here. Good. All right, put it down. Now you can jog in place, keep your heart rate up, or you can just tap it out, whichever you like. The next thing we're gonna be moving into are mountain climbers. I'm gonna put a little twist and your legs are gonna go out and in, like this. Core tight. Reach the weight down and pull up. All right, switch to the other side. We're halfway through that 30 seconds. And pull up. And pull up. And pull up. All right, set it down. Shake it out. Jump in place. We're gonna to go to modified burpees. So you can do the full burpee if your back is in good shape, but I like to do the modified to play it safe. Here we go. So down and up. This is modified. Notice I'm not jumping. I'm just stepping my legs out, coming back up and pressing. And press. And press. And press. Come on, you guys. I feel my heart rate coming up. Let's go. Woo! Okay. Shake it out. Jog in place. Now we're going to take one of our dumbbells and do a wood chop. So we're going to be reaching up and coming down towards the knee, pivoting out of the feet. You ready? Let's go. Keep your chest up, arms straight. Look at my back foot as I rotate as I come up and press down. Imagine you're swinging an axe. Two, keep going. Okay, rest it out. So I was going to my right, we're gonna do this again and go to the left. All right. Get yourself ready, get into position, open up your hips, reach up to the left, and press down. Good. 
Good. You feeling that? I know you are. Keep your core nice and tight. Exhale on the way up. Awesome. Set down, shake it out, get a sip of water. Our next exercise is going to be boxing circles. Okay, it's going to be boxing circles. Making nice circles with your arms. It's going to work your shoulders. Keep your core tight. And I'm just marching around on my feet here as if I was jumping rope. Nice rhythm. It's all about developing the rhythm. Keep moving those arms like hitting a speed deck. Come on. There you go. Yay, shake it out. All right, find yourself in position on the floor. We're going to core B sit-ups. Chest up. You don't want to let the low back round. Position yourself to help on the back of the floor here. So my hands are there to support me just a little so that I don't let my low back drop out too much. Knees towards chest. Okay, how are we doing? All right, keep going. Now if that's too much and you just want to sit down and do this and lift one leg, crunch you towards the knees, you can do it. Awesome. Okay, grab your five pounder. We're going to stay in that position, core tight, chest up, and we're going to do side rotations. Woo, okay, here we go. Chest up and begin. Very, very critical because we're doing rotation that you keep the chest up and the low back and the core working together, okay? You do not want to round in the low back. Chest up. Keep that core tight. Woo! Awesome. Come on up. All right, catch your breath, catch your breath. Moving on. So we're going to do a lunge with lateral raise. So it's going to look like this. And here we go. So think of your arms as wings and you're just lifting the elbow up, your horizontal with the floor. It's just a little step out, core tight. I'm going to get in here and go sideways on you so you can see me from the side. Just a step out and a lateral raise. 90 degrees, you want to keep your arms at 90 degrees. Elbows right out from the shoulders. Woo, okay, awesome. Now we're gonna head back to the start. So that's the routine. Little sip of water. Back to squat, overhead press. You got it. The deeper you take the squat, of course, the harder it's going to be. Any problem with the knees? Just modify the squat. Don't go as deep. Feels good to move, doesn't it? I love it. Love doing it with you guys. All right, set it down. Get yourself ready. We're going to be doing those out and in, out and in positions on the mountain climbers position. And here we go. Phew! Let me hear ya. Come on, Spirit, go ahead and scream. You're just in the safety of your own home. Nobody's gonna hear you. Let's go. You can be loud there. Core tight. Head neutral, soft on your toes. Nice, shake it out. I feel that in my arms too, because you're working a lot of stabilization in the shoulders to hold that. Good job. Grab your weights. 
Going back to that side step row, stay on one side. Weight should extend down by the knee and pull back up. Really squeeze your shoulder blades as you come up. All right, we're halfway through, switch. Awesome, awesome. Put it down, shake it out. Okay. Burpees modified. There we go. So we're going to come down in that position and just step up. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. Now some of you want to get real courageous and you want more of a cardio workout. Turn it into a full burpee like this. Woo! Good, good job. Shake it out, shake it out. Wood chops, grab one. Okay, core tight. We're gonna pivot off and that back leg's gonna twist with you. Here we go. Exhale on the way up. Reach big. Pivot out of the back foot. Awesome. Five more seconds. Come on. Two and one. Delivering, aren't I? I'm delivering, as promised. Heart rate up. Very good. Get ready to go to the other side. Here we go. Hands in position. Starting up and coming down. Rotating on that back foot. Awesome. See, my head and eyes kind of follow my weights, kind of following that trajectory. Up and out, core tight. You feel it? This is a good one, isn't it? There we go, four seconds. Two and one. All right, boxing circles. So remember, it's like jumping rope, right? Like this, with that rhythm with your feet. And we're just gonna circle the arms with it. Three seconds, here we go. Envision that speed back. And you can just run in place like this, or you can tap out. Or you can do, keep doing what I'm doing. Three seconds. Two and one. Good. B sit ups. Support on the back. Or you can just do it without. Ready? Here we go. I like to count reps because it just kind of tells me like how many I'm doing. So you can go ahead and count if you like. Even though it is time based, we're still just going to be 30 seconds. Keep the chest up. Two and one. Grabbing your dumbbell. We're going to go to rotational B sit ups. We have 15 second break, so go ahead and take it. I feel my breath. My breath is up. I love this. I'm getting a good sweat. It's great. And I'm doing it with you guys. I miss all of you guys, and I'm so glad that you're following along on our workouts but it doesn't beat seeing you face to face. So I look forward to having you all back in the gym. Keep the chest up and the core engaged. Very important. 
And you can slow it down too. If you feel like it's too fast, you can slow it down. Good job. Now we're gonna go to lateral raises with that step. So grab your weight. Guys, look, we're almost to the second one. We only have one more to go. Let's go, stay in there. Shoulders up, core right. Just step and lateral raise. This is really great for feeling it in the shoulders. Yeah, good. So it's kind of a forward lunge. I'm gonna to go to the side for you guys. Woo, I feel my shoulders. But I wanna sculpt my shoulders. I like my shoulders. Here we go. Woo All right. Get some water. We're gonna go one more time through. One more time through. Let's go. Shoulder press. Squats. This is my workout for the day. And it really doesn't take much. We don't have to be doing an hour to get an effective workout. As you guys can see, because my heart rate's up, I'm sure yours is. Let's work hard. And we'll be done here, I don't know, in about a couple minutes. We'll be wrapping this up. Two and one. Now remember that next one is that modified mountain climber where I'm just having you jump the legs out to the side. All right. Here we go. Listen to me, breathe heavy. Nice breath. You can do that too. Helps get nice air into your lungs. Build strong lungs. sweat. I feel it. I really feel that again in my arms because it's that stabilizing of the upper body. Okay. Step with the row. And row. And row. And row. Reach the arms really down there by the knees. Extend out and pull back. Halfway through, switch sides. Again, it doesn't have to be a deep lunge because I want you to be careful with the knees. Just moving the lower body is enough. Two and one. Awesome. Burpees modify. Or like I did last time, for those of you who want to go for that jump, you can do the full thing. Here we go. One, two, up. One, two, up. Come 
on, guys. Come on. Stay with me. Good form now. Don't get lazy on the form. Core in tight. Two and one. Awesome. Boxing circles. Boxing circles. One. Let me get some music in the background. Three, two, and one. Go on, keep it going. This is like that one where you have to rub circles over your head and then rub circles on your belly in opposite directions. Right? You gotta keep the arms going, the legs going. Here we go. Get ready for B sit ups. Chest up. And here we go. Remember, the modified on this, if your back feels a little bit vulnerable, is. I'm kind of crunching towards my knee if I bring it up. Four. Good. Almost there. And three, two, and one. Rotational B sit-ups. I have a sweat going. Have I told you that yet? I like it. There we go, chest up, core tight. 30 seconds. Nice and controlled, not too fast. Visualize your body tightening and firming in those abdominals. I'm sure you're all probably thinking you're gaining the couch five, right? That added five pounds. But let's not let that be a runaway train. Keep with me, keep working out with all in one fitness and we'll keep you fit. Great. Lateral raises, last exercise, folks. Last exercise. Grab both. Okay, so we're just stepping with that lateral raise. I'll start facing you, and then I'll go to the side. I love this one because it sculpts the shoulders. I'm a shoulder person. I like my shoulders. It helps build a cap on the shoulders. Now I'm going to go to the side so you can see me from the side. 90 degrees right out on the shoulders. That's it, folks. We did it. Ding, ding, ding. Thanks for joining All in One Fitness. Join back again for a time-based workout. We'll see you next time.